The first thing I want to discuss about Hanko is his size. There seems to be this perception that a player needs to be over 100 kilos to play center at the professional level, which is something I just can't wrap my head around. In my opinion, Hanko has the perfect size for outside center that complements his rare skill set. I hate it when people just throw a number without using any context to support their claims. For instance, I've watched all of Hanko's games and it was clear to me that he was one of the strongest players on the field despite his weight. I also talked to his coach at high school and he said this to me. People don't realize how strong Hanko is, and how difficult he is to bring down once he has the ball in his hand. He is built different than other people and is one of the best players I had the privilege to coach. That is big words from a great coach. I've also seen Hanko in person and he is not a small guy. Don't let a number fool you, go watch his games and then you'll see a guy that has the athletic ability of an elite NFL running back. Then there is also Hanko's maturity and leadership. I've talked to his coaches, friends, teammates, and everyone praises the type of person he is. When you meet him, the first thing you notice is his maturity. It's easy to see why he was the head boy at his school as well as the captain of his team. In this clip watch what his coach at the Lions had to say about Henko and his maturity. Henko van Veik is, he, he's got the maturity, of, he plays with the maturity of a, of a kid, you know, older than him, or a player older than him. Seldom meet players who are that talented and just want to absorb and have the hunger to absorb what you as a coach want to, you know, you, you know give to them. And In this section, I'm going to show you how Henko's rare skill set compares to that of an elite NFL running back skill set. I'm going to show you some clips of Reggie Bush, who was an electrifying NFL running back. The reason I'm showing you clips of him is because Henko has a similar skill set to what Reggie had. Both of them are almost identical in size and both of them have rare athleticism. In this first clip I want to show you how Reggie Bush uses his speed to get on the outside of his defenders. He then uses his athleticism to break back inside, leaving the defenders stranded. I've seen Henko do this time and time again. Now watch Henko do the exact same thing. As you can see, there are three cover defenders. Henko uses his speed and beats them on the outside. He then uses his athleticism to break inside and beat the last defender. This is just an amazing play by Henko. This is another play where Reggie Bush shows incredible athleticism to beat a defender. He catches the ball in the outfield and is going to get a line break. Now watch him fake a run to the inside and then making an amazing jump cut to the outside. This forced the defender in a bad position where he couldn't make the tackle. This takes an insane amount of athleticism to do. Now watch Henko do something very similar to create an amazing try. Here, he runs an excellent running line to get a line break. Now watch him slow down a bit and manipulate the defender. At the last second when the defender is committed to defend Henko on an outside run. He then makes a cut to the inside to set up a ridiculous try. Again, this takes an insane amount of athleticism to do. In this clip I want you to focus on Reggie's feet. I want you to see how quickly he's able to change direction at full speed. He gets a line break. Now watch him change direction while he's at full speed. It takes him 4 steps to change his body direction while he is at full speed. His athletic ability is on full display here. I can't tell you how many times I've seen Henko do this exact same thing where it's almost impossible for the defenders to react in time to make a tackle. Now watch how Henko beats defenders the same way, showing amazing athletic ability. First, watch his running line before the fly half releases the ball. He is running right at a defender, which you can't see now because he is out of screen. Now watch how he straightens his running line while the ball is getting released by the fly half. He manipulates the defense by straightening his running line at the last second. He now gets a line break. This is where his athletic ability takes over. Just like Reggie, it takes Henko just 4 steps to change his body direction, while running at full speed. Now look how he completely destroys the last defender by doing that. That defender was in the perfect position, but due to Henko's ability to change direction, in such a short amount of time, it's almost impossible for him to react in time to make a tackle. There's only a handful of people in the world that can do that, and Henko is one of them. Speed is just another thing that Reggie used in order to destroy defenses. In this clip watch how he catches the ball in the middle of the field and score a ridiculous touchdown. 
he puts on the burners and just annihilates the defenders. This is just another skill set that Henko shares with Reggie Bush. This clip leaves me speechless every time I watch it. I keep telling you guys. Henko is a once in a generational talent. I want you to look at two things. First, look at his running line before the fly half made the line break. I know he did not get the ball there, but look how perfect that running line was. He faked his initial running line and straightened at the last second, leaving the defender flat-footed. The only reason you did not see that defender getting humiliated was because of the great line break from the fly half. Now the second thing, look at when Hanko gets the ball, and look at how he annihilates those two defenders. This is one of the best tries that I have ever seen. The way he just burns those two defenders with sheer pace and speed, is simply a sight to behold. I keep telling you, this guy is special. In this section, we're going to discuss Hanko's running lines and how he manipulates defenders with his late movement. I honestly believe that Hanko's technical skills, when it comes to running lines, are already better than most international centers. When it comes to his running lines, it's important to focus on two things. The first thing is to look at his running line before the fly half is going to release the ball. The second thing is to look at his body position right after the fly half released the ball. His late movement makes it almost impossible to defend. Here is the first clip. Watch his running line before he receives the ball. And then watch how his body changes when the ball is in the air. Henko is not even looking at the defenders because he's done this move so many times. Because of Henko's late movement, the defenders couldn't react in time. They were focusing on his initial running line before he received the ball. Now Henko gets a line break. And as you'll see in most of the clips, when Henko gets a line break, he is impossible to stop. This next clip made me question if Henko is even from this planet. What he does after this line break, is basically defying the laws of physics. Let's start at the beginning. Look at his running line before the fly half is going to release it. Focus on how he is attacking that channel. Now watch how he starts changing his body position while the ball is in the air. Now he is attacking a completely different channel. He made a fool out of that defender. What happens next is hard to explain. I'm going to tell you this. Henko is the only guy in world rugby that can do this. Count the amount of steps it takes him to change direction at an almost 90 degree angle. Watch how he destroys a defender that was positioned perfectly. No guy on earth can defend that. It took Henko 5 steps to change direction at an almost 90 degree angle, while he was running at full speed. Guys, what you witnessed there, is why Henko is going to be a star in the future. That defender was in the perfect position. Yet, Henko completely annihilated him. The fact that Henko goes untouched in this whole clip, is just insane. Here is a perfect angle to see the genius of Henko. The technical aspect of his game is just so impressive for a young guy. He plays as if he's a 10 year veteran. Again, just watch how he manipulates the defense with his late movement. Here is another example of Henko defying the laws of physics, again. At the start of the clip Henko is just out of screen. But his body is facing in the direction of the arrow. Watch how Henko is starting to change his body position once the ball has been released. The defender realizes this too late, and is now left flat-footed. Resulting in another line break for Henko. Now guys, by now you probably know what happens when he gets a line break. Like the previous clip. Look how many steps it takes Henko to change at an almost 90 degree angle while running at full speed. That is just ridiculous. Again, that defender was in a perfect position to defend that run but Henko's athletic ability is just too good. I hope you guys are starting to realize the talent that this kid has. This is amazing. Here is another angle that showcases his insane athleticism. Guys, to do that in 5 steps is not normal. I can't say this enough. Henko is a once in a generational talent. This is just another clip that leaves me speechless every time I watch it. Look at how he manipulates the defense. It's a thing of true beauty to watch. It's almost like Henko knows exactly what the defenders are thinking and he just counters them with his instincts. Look at how he is attacking the channel before the ball is released. Now watch how Henko waits for the middle defender to overcommit to that channel. 
As soon as the defender over commits, Henko is going to make an incredible step and attack the inside of that defender. This defense was in the perfect position for that play. Yet, Henko manages to still get a line break. I really love these types of angles because it gives a clear picture of what Henko is doing to attack a defense. This angle just shows how perfectly Henko played this. The way he waits for the right opportunity to strike is just great to watch. With defense I want you to look at Henko's excellent tackling technique. His athleticism combined with his technique makes him a menace on defense. In this first clip you're going to see Henko make a mistake by not being able to control the ball. He loses possession, but watch how quickly he's able to turn and start tracking down the ball carrier. Now here is where Henko's technique comes in. Look at his arm when he commits to the tackle. He goes straight for the leg of the ball carrier. He does this a lot and it works perfectly. Henko is simply a beast on defense. His athleticism is so fun to watch. In this clip, watch his insane reaction time to control a bad ball with his feet. He turns a bad situation into a great one. He makes an incredible tackle. Then watch how fast he is to get back up to his feet and contest for the ball at the breakdown. This should have been a penalty to Henko but for some reason the ref saw something else. I can really watch him tackle all day. He is just amazing on defense. In this clip you can see Henko again being able to turn around in no time. Also watch how he bats down the stiff arm attempt of the ball carrier and then wrap around him to make an excellent tackle. He really shows amazing technique when tackling big ball carriers. Here is another example of Henko's elite athleticism and tackling technique. Here he is tracking the ball carrier against the touchline. Now watch how he uses his left arm to anchor around his waist. Now Henko uses his own momentum to swing around the legs of the ball carrier, stopping him immediately. Let me zoom in to show you again how he uses his left arm as an anchor point around the ball carrier's waist. In this clip he does something very similar where he is tracking down the ball carrier. Once he commits to the tackle he uses his one arm as an anchor point, and he then uses his momentum to swing around the legs of the ball carrier. The reason I'm showing this technique of his is because it negates his size. Because no matter how big or strong you are, if you can't use your legs, then you can't run with the ball. This is why I keep telling people that they need to watch Henko's games before saying stuff like he's too small to play center at the next level. Watch how he uses the same technique in this clip to tackle a guy three times his size. Again, it's important to watch how he uses that arm as an anchor point around the ball carrier's waist. That anchor point allows him to swing around the legs of the ball carrier and stopping him in his tracks. In this clip he does two things. First he uses his quick hips to turn around. Secondly, he now grabs onto the ball carrier's waist with his left arm. And now he goes straight for the ball carrier's legs with his right arm. Stopping him in his tracks. It's important to note that the guy he's tackling is twice his size, yet he did not make one meter when Henko tackled him. In this section we're going to look at some of Henko's X-Factor moments. This is moments where he just does stuff that other players can't do. I have no idea on how to explain what happens in this clip. You guys are going to have to watch it, in order to believe me. Let me pause the clip right here. As you guys can see, there is a wall of 5 defenders in front of Henko. If I ask you guys right now, do you think Henko is going to get tackled in this clip? All of you will say yes. Well, what if I told you that Henko almost goes untouched in this clip? Don't believe me? Watch this. Within 4 steps, Henko manages to change his direction and attack the smallest of gaps. He almost goes completely untouched. Now guys, what more does Henko have to do, in order to get recognition? This clip is for all the people that think a center needs to be over 100 kilos. This is another example of a try that only Henko can score. He beats 7 defenders in the span of 15 meters. That is insane. In this clip, you're going to see another great try by Henko. His elite athleticism and speed is on full display here. Once he picks up that ball, it's all over. There is no stopping Henko once he has some space. His athletic ability is simply too good. I don't think there was a player that scored more long distance tries than him last year. 
Again, watch how special this kid is once you give him space. He gets the ball and just puts on the burners to score another long distance try. Remember guys, this was against international opposition. Nobody had an answer to stop him last season. He dominated at every stage he played. You guys are probably getting tired of me showing how Henko beats defenders with his rare athleticism. This is the last one, I promise. Let me pause it right here when he gets the ball. As you can see there are two defenders in front of Henko. Next to them there is also a gap. The only problem with the gap is that there is a cover defender waiting for Henko if he attacks it. But again, watch how Henko is able to change direction within 4 steps to destroy the cover defender. I have shown you this same move multiple times, where defenders are in the perfect position. Yet, they can't lay a hand on Henko because of his ability to change direction like that, while running at full speed. In the last section I want to show you guys some clips of Henko's best game last season. In my opinion, this has to be one of the most impressive performances in schoolboy rugby that I have ever seen. Henko was on a whole new level that day. His team lost the game but the way Henko rallied his team and took them on his back to almost make one of the most impressive comebacks in recent memory. Their backs were against the wall and he single-handedly kept them in the game. He made two try-saving tackles. He scored an amazing try, and also made an amazing try in the end of the game that was denied because the ref was blind. This game showed me that Henko was the leader and alpha of his team. Do yourself a favor and watch this full game. This is the try he scored in that game. The most impressive part about this clip is how Henko made it look so easy. It's almost like he did this in slow motion. He also never even looks at the defense, which shows you how much he trusts his own instincts. It's difficult to see exactly what Henko does from this angle. He manipulates the defender with his initial running line and starts changing his running line when the ball is getting released. The defender is flat-footed and Henko gets a line break. And by now, you know there is no stopping Henko when he gets that line break. This is the first of the try saving tackles. The ball carrier gets a line break. Now watch how quickly Henko is able to turn his hips. This again, is another example of Henko's elite athleticism. Now watch how he's able to accelerate to full speed to track the ball carrier. This next part is important. Watch what Henko does with his hands when he goes in for the tackle. He uses his hand to sweep the ball carrier's legs which stops him immediately. Henko does this a lot, especially against guys bigger than him. This is another example as why I have no issue with Henko's size. His tackling technique is world class. In this clip I want you to look at the score first. If Henko's team concedes a try here, the game is most likely over. Now watch Henko make another try saving tackle, this one is even more impressive than the one before. The fly half tries to give a 50-50 ball which couldn't be controlled by his teammate. Now watch how Henko, again, is able to turn his hips in no time. Watch how he tracks the ball carrier down with great acceleration. What happens next is simply amazing. Henko's instincts is on full display here. The ball carrier is going to pass the ball when one of Henko's teammates comes in to make a tackle. This puts Henko in a bad spot because he is going to run into them and lose his speed by doing so. Now watch how he makes an incredible diving tackle to stop a try from getting scored. This is amazing instincts and athleticism from Henko. Again, he is only one of a handful of people in the world that can do that. In this clip Henko makes another try saving tackle, but the ref thought otherwise. First off, I want you to watch Henko's hip movement. I know I keep saying that but it shows how athletic he is and helps him a lot on defense. Look how quickly he's able to turn around and start tracking the ball carrier. Now watch how Henko manages to pull off a ridiculous try saving tackle. Again, watch what he does with his hand when he goes in for the tackle, he uses it to dislodge the ball from the ball carrier. This is just incredible. Let's watch once again while I zoom in. The ball carrier loses control of the ball. The ref makes a huge blunder by calling this a try. Again, look at the score and look at the time in the game. In this clip you're going to see Henko create a try scoring opportunity from nothing. Watch how he takes on 4 defenders and still wins the area of contact. 
He then manages to get an offload to the support runner who made a great run. This should have been a try but for some reason the ref thought it was a knock-on. This clip is another example of Hanko's size not being an issue. Thanks a lot for watching this video guys. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did making it. Let me know if you enjoy this type of videos. I would definitely like to make more of them. Lastly, we want to wish Hanko a fast recovery from his shoulder surgery. We can't wait to see him back in action.